good day to you. Yeah, today I'm going to try and draw that demon woman with wings. Um, I've got an idea to draw uh, the full sort of character. And we're going to do that right now. So I'm just going to start to sketch um, an idea. I've got a, sort of a pose in mind, but we'll see how it goes. Let's just mark the head out there. marking the arms out um, I know this I want this hand to look like it's coming out a bit more so I'll just put them there we'll see how it goes So I'm going to draw the demon woman character like this and I can't really draw the legs, the full legs but I will get rid of everything. Just try and work on these arms now, just thin them off a bit. Want there to be a bit of a neck there. So I might not do her arm coming out, I might just do it normal. It ain't gonna look right. So a little big there, I might just uh, change the size of this hand slightly just to compensate for it. So I like, I like the idea of like long clawed hands with this one. I've got to draw the wings in yet. a bit better. Maybe the more outstretched, just ignore that bit there. Let's just work on the other wing. 
I'm going to go off the page. Impressive wings, I think. It's the order of the day. Well, this one goes a bit off the page, but. Forming the basis of our demon girl with wings sort of design. I want to sort the head out now. I remember I like said I wanted that like a, a small um, sort of bob hairstyle. Just try and go for that. zoomed in on the head slightly. I raised the eyes because I messed up there. some almost like vampire teeth there maybe some little mons as well extend the chin slightly Everything can always be worked out. come back to the head. I've nearly got it sorted, just a little, a few little, little bits here and there. Um, is she wearing clothes or not? I think, maybe. makeup as I go along actually. Some kind of costume, I don't know. And maybe it's all leather. 
just for fun. Leather looks good. We can add like um, lots of other shading as well on the sort of costume there. Still needs a bit more work in the sketch, so it might take a bit longer. Tempted to draw something on here. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just do some sort of design. Just keep on making it up. Just on this shoulder just to. Oh, maybe the arm actually don't look right. So just like redraw it. Maybe just erase it slightly. I think it's the shoulder that didn't look right. needs to be a bit more back. Like that. And then the arm needs to be a bit more condensed sort of thing. And then I can redraw the hand. Okay. Oh, it's this arm now. get there. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to do this really just you know, to get it right in a drawing. Sometimes you can draw it right first, you know, first thing, but other times you might need a little bit of practice.
Maybe that hand might need it enlarging in slightly. Just to match that other. Spent a bit doing the arms, near enough right. So the wings need a bit more jazzing up. So we'll try and work on a good framework good strong wings shapes smaller them lips sort of like black black lipstick possibly draw them teeth so it took a while to try and sketch this Sometimes it needs it, you need to spend a bit of time just to get things right, or near enough right, you know. I'll maybe give her a little necklace or something. Possibly with something on it, I don't know, I'll probably draw the details later on. So, we're sort of getting there. I've established that she's wearing like a leather type costume. 
black leather. Um, it's just a, a bit of the wings we need to sort out. two three four five little sections of the wings so I need to do the same on this side details on the wings like that. Little lands, extra cre creases and folds and stuff. Because the wings fold up and that's uh, I think it's best if you do extra lands that you can get away with. But try not to confuse them with these main lands. So Sort of happy with this um, at the moment. I think I'm ready to wink this. But well, that thumb's doing me head in, so. Mm. <laughs> Even worse. Oh well. So I'm going to start to wink this now. Now it's. The drawing isn't exactly how I'd like it, as finished as sort of I'd like it, but I'm still going to have a good go at inking it anyway. I think I'm going to give a jet black hair. shape of her head. I want this to be sort of like a fringe of sorts. <laughs> so if you look back on the uh, that quick concept drawing that I did I'll link it in the description or I'll annotate it on the video um, you'll see that I did so I sketched all the elements that I wanted in that drawing and again it wasn't a perfect drawing and neither is this but at least this one um, has something more about it than that quick sketch a um, bit of a pose a um, bit of a costume more of a drawing really so and that's what I really wanted to sort of aim for. Right, I'll try and just ink. Oh, excuse me. Full of wind today. A, a chance for you to clear stuff up in the drawing as well. And that's what I'm doing with this. And 
Let's get them teeth in there. That's that's the main thing. with a jar that's what you can do sometimes with a jar and if it doesn't work out actually I'll do them wings with thicker ink pen this brush pen for these wings give it a thick underline it tapers off there slightly side needs to go a bit yeah we'll sort that out there's always uh, some uh, little design problems we give a thick sort of line Just underneath. And then the rest could be like thin, thin lines, possibly. Try and follow the costume, what I've already drawn. But a mixture of thick and thin lines. I've done that on the legs so it, it looks like it's carrying the weight of this character, especially with the wings and the large hands <laughs> so Yeah, it all goes quiet on these vlogs sometimes when I'm busy drawing. I don't know, I think it might be best to lay in some of these blacks with a large brush pen and then we can white some out later. And 
just follow a lot of the lines that I've already drawn. Again, this is going to be a long sort of video. I may well just time like, you know, time lapse the colouring process. But I'll tell you exactly what I've used when sort of colouring them in, colouring the in the drawing. Usually pro markers and stuff like that. The wings, because they're quite massive and quite spectacular, they'll be coloured in an ice demonic colour I can imagine so that'll be fun to colour in and I'll probably have to charge this camera up midway so that's all doesn't matter I'm sort of happy with this drawing the way it's going it's not too bad yeah I like that So, get back with a normal ink pen now. Stink some little details. Sometimes you might see me like just like pulling back from a drawing. That's just to see the whole thing. Sometimes, because sometimes when you're forced like to look at things close up, you don't see the bigger picture sort of thing. So that's why I usually like pull back and just just to see the drawing. Sometimes, and that's when you notice sort of like little mistakes here and there, like the wing there. I think I don't know if it's that wing or that wing, possibly that wing. Because that wing looks quite good, outstretched, and this one looks a bit cramped. So, but then that, that one could be just caving round, could be just folded in slightly. Who knows? Sometimes you draw it how you draw it, and you know, that's it. <laughs> things go there which hold up this part of the costume obviously the other one just disappears behind the hair there which you can't see but there we go I'll just draw these lines Now the arms, you know, like look slightly long, but I've done that on purpose because uh, when it comes to a colouring stage, I'm going to have these arms looking grey, like she's transforming into something else um, slowly. So, you know, and there'll be like little textures on here that will show that as well when I start to ink the arms. But for now, I'm just doing little details here and there. Still having fun. So from when we started drawing this, I really wasn't sure how it would go, really, to be honest. Uh, but it hasn't gone too bad, this drawing, so it's best to carry on with it.
So I think on the top bit, we've got to carry the weight underneath in the shadow with the wings, and then on the top is the thin line. So yeah, I'll definitely have to charge this battery up on this camera. Let me just sort this out. Because they'd be on like um, a bit further back, these like little, I don't know, the little rips or something, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to charge this camera up now and try and do a bit more. A little bit of the inking process still to do, uh, but I think I'll definitely time lapse the colour process because that'll take quite a bit. And yeah, that's what I'll do. Right, back to finishing this off now. I'm going to just ink the arms. I'll just turn it on its side because it's easier to do. So I've just uh, straightened up that hand a bit because the finger was on there and it didn't look right. Uh, that thumb still looks a bit dodgy but then it it looks okay so I'm just going to go ahead and ink this. The attempt to straighten it up. Probably mess it up. Oh well. The key with this is to have in like large clawed hands. some like texture to them and maybe even some like movement sort of transformation lines or something just to add them in there like you know something's happening to her arms or something like that Could never get it totally right, so let's just start inking the other arm. So I want to start to get on with the colour, and that will be a time lapse. So let's try and get on with it. Sort of change the hand slightly. Try and get to do all the fingers there. Um, and then this one's changing as well, so maybe do some movement lines and things. Some other like little texture bits on this arm. 
that'll come more um, prominent when I start to colour these arms so I can add some dark tones around them little texture bits and you know just try and finish that off um, so now I just need to ink this wing well both wings Let's do them lines down the back there right Try and make them lands at least as smooth as possible. table then nice one and then try and make the wings look sort of symmetrical but that one looks like larger but yeah I'm not supposed to notice these things draw them main lines come down there Switch it on its side. And then we're near enough got our inked sort of drawing there. So what I want to do is uh, maybe oh, that's me, right. Let's do some little cross hatching in there. Little bits. So anyway, yeah. I want to erase all the pencil lines and then I'll start to colour. So when I come back, the time lapse begins.
so I think that's near enough <clears throat> uh, all I can do on this video of course I can carry on more and do little bits here and there and you know maybe add some highlights like I am doing with this little white stub pencil I need to get some more of these um, yeah but it turned out okay actually not too bad it started off a bit shaky but yeah I quite like this uh, demon woman with wings um, I could like uh, go on and I probably will do and smooth a lot of this all out properly and finish things off maybe smooth a bit of that out on the wings and things like that the top of the wings um, eventually maybe add a bit of a background in there but for now I, I like the colours and you know the wings um, I would have liked to have used a, a pink pro marker for the the bottom but they've run out so I need to buy some more um, but yeah as far as it goes it's better than the concept drawing that I did and it's improved upon it and I like the effect of the like leather or PVC or whatever you want to call it um, outfit there and yeah there was just going to be like ring chains but I just filled them in with purple just thought I would uh, give a like red ready orange eyes yeah demon uh, yeah I could probably like smooth out a bit of the skin color but I'd, I just thought I'd remain like a grey tone for, throughout but I probably would put a few yellow highlights just around the arms and maybe get a where's my maybe try and highlight them if it shows up don't go over the waxy thing so I won't bother and yeah, maybe get a, like a little paintbrush fine little paintbrush and just paint over them little lines just to show some kind of transformation lines and things like that so I hope you enjoyed that one because I did towards the end I like the colouring stage and you know a bit of the inking stage I thought the head was a bit ropey um, but I managed to get away with it <laughs> I think um, missed a bit of inking on there just noticed uh, but all in all turned out okay anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video cheers now <laughs>